so many games, yet I want to review something like Kingdom Hearts 3 plus Remind. But that will require a whole Kingdom Hearts marathon, and I already just got done wrapping up the Ratchet and Clank marathon. <sighs> what am I going to do? Why not do Skylander Spyro's Adventure? Ah! Jay Man, I, what are you doing here, Ant? Why are you in your fursona form? Pandemic, remember? This is the only way I can interact with you. Right, right. Man, can you believe it's already been a year since this? Christ, time flies. I know, right? Jeez. Oh, so you said you're having a tough time picking a game to review, right? Yeah, I really want to take a look at some of my favorite games, but more often than not, they're sequels. And trust me, I've already wrapped up another franchise. I don't want another one to deal with. Hmm, a game you want to review, but you don't want to look at the whole franchise. Oh, why not do Skylander Spouse Adventure? Hmm, I mean, it's been a long time since I last played Skylander Spyro's Adventure. Ah, what the hell! As the first ever collab review on this channel, this is Skylander's Spyro's Adventure. Play, Play that, that intro! intro. Enjoy the show. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new review. But first, I would like to welcome a very special guest. And if you watch most of the Beyblade related content on this channel, then you most likely already know him. Welcome. Shade Midnight. Hello everyone, my name is Shade Midnight, and thank you so much, Horror, for having me here to do this review with you. No problem, man. For tonight, we'll be taking a look at Skylander Spyro's Adventure. This is a game both me and Shade have very fond memories of, even though most Spyro fans stated that it quote-unquote ruined Spyro as a whole. But here's the question. Is this game any good? And is this something we could recommend to you? Let's find out. For those who may not know, Skylander Sparrow's Adventure, or Skylanders as a whole, was created by Activision, the same people who made every single Call of Duty game, most of the Tony Hawk games, almost all the hero games, and a game simply called Gun. Love it. Strange name, but anyway, Skylander Spyro's Adventure is a 3D toys to life action platforming RPG developed by XPCE Entertainment since we're using the PlayStation 3 version for this review. It was released in October of 2011 for Windows, 3DS, OS X, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360, with Japan getting a Wii U version in July of 2013, where it was published by Square Enix. That must mean they have their music, because they have Yoko Shimomura on the team. But hey, that doesn't mean the American release didn't get good music. More on that later. Alright, with a slight lesson on who are the masterminds behind the franchise as a whole, let's go over the story. So the story of Spyro's adventure has us getting to know the world of Skyland, where each of the Skylanders are the protectors of this mysterious world. But they have been ejected from the world of Skyland by the evil and sinister Portal Master Chaos, who, by the way, was the voice of Billy from the grim adventures of Billy and Mandy and Stuart Zergo and Azoni from Ratchet and Clank. Now it is up to us, the players, to ask our parents for money to save the people of Skyland and defeat the villainous chaos. Yeah, that's basically the story in a nutshell. To me, I think the story is still pretty good. I like the voice acting and the presentation of said voice acting is really great. Now, 
if I have to bitch about one thing about the story, it's Chaos himself. He's not a bad villain, but why not save him for the final fight where we actually see what he looks like? We can still have the giant floating head, but at the end show him that he's actually a bald midget. But with the story out of the way, let's move on to gameplay. Ooh, ooh, I love the gameplay. The gameplay of Sparrow's Adventure is pretty simple. You go to different levels, get to the end of said level while battling enemies, leveling up your characters, and fighting hidden goodies. In the levels, we also can come across these elemental gates. As long as we have a Skylander of the same element, we can open the gate and get more hidden goodies, such as a hat or treasure. And like Shade said, we can level up as well as use some of the treasure we gathered to unlock new moves for our Skylanders. Let's go over the Skylanders real quick. The original game had over 30 of them representing 8 elements. Magic, Earth, Water, Fire, Tech, Undead, Life, and Air. The Skylanders basically work like extra lives. If one dies, you can just send in another. But if you were to play this game with a friend, then you'll be losing more Skylanders faster. So in other words, it's basically the living definition of pay to win before it was considered cool in today's day and age of gaming. Visually, I think it's a tad dull. This may have been great for 2011 standards, but nowadays with the later Skylander games, I think visually it just didn't age that well as I hoped it did. I will say that when it comes to the enemy designs and the Skylanders in-game models, I think it still sort of holds up. Well, except for Spyro, and Dark Spyro, and Legendary Spyro. In terms of OST, it's pretty good. The tile theme alone is an absolute bop to listen to. But as for the final boss theme, while it is good, I feel like you could just place this in any final boss battle in any other action game and it would fit in just as well. The final boss is actually one of my favorites. We are fighting the short, zim sounding midget who is fighting us with a freaking Hydra. I wish we got more creative bosses like this. Doesn't change the fact that Chaos still gets his ass handed to him in future entries. Now, let's recap everything we just went over. The story is pretty good, gameplay is also pretty good, visually it's a tad bland, and OST is okay. Here are our closing thoughts. I personally enjoyed my first playthrough of Spouse Adventure, going through the different worlds, leveling up all the Skylanders I collected, personal fave going to my legendary Chop Chop, and just having an absolute blast playing as the forgotten dragon, Spyro. For me, while at the time I found the concept of Skylanders pretty awesome, it suffers from first game syndrome. If I do remember correctly, it took me after beating Superchargers to finally beat Spyro's Adventure. That is if I am remembering this correctly. Overall, Skylanders Spyro's Adventure gets our score of a 6.5 out of 10. Like we said, while it is a pretty great time, nowadays it's almost impossible to play unless you somehow manage to find a starter set for a fair price. But now, we want to know from you all. What did you think about Spyro's Adventure? Is this something you could recommend to a friend and did you also enjoy it? Leave your answers and more down in the comments. And Shade, thank you very much for joining me for this review. No problem, man. I had a lot of fun reviewing this game with you, and I hope I can come back to do another in the near future. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, and while you're here, subscribe to my channel as well as Shades, and turn on the bell to be notified whenever we make a new video. Our social media links are down below, as always, I've been Howard Kid, he has been Shade Midnight, and we will see you all in the next video! Take care!